APC never promised restructuring in 2015 manifesto, says B.C. Akondi. Welcome to the news, and thank you for tuning in to listen. The politician blames mischief makers for the widely held notion. The governing all-progressive Congress, APC, never promised to restructure Nigeria in the thick of the 2014-2015 electioneering campaigns, Chief B.C. Akande, who served as an interim chairman of APC, writes in his recently published autobiography titled, My Participation. Well, of course. What do you expect? Even though they do not promise, let us say, okay, minus, that's one. All the things they said they would do, have they done? I will make one naira equals one dollar. Had it been Nigerians new or those who participated in voting for him, knew they would have known that it is the opposite you know when somebody speaks with sarcasm to you he means the other way around when he said it means good it means it is the opposite when he said he's going to do is white it means it is black one of the other promises the insecurity will be under 10 months i will i will i will i will take charge of the situation how is the english how do i even say speak that grammar they they they, they spoke then after six years, do you know how many people have died? Do you know? What of the one that they said, oh, that they are going to fix, I'm going to fix Nigeria. How? They end up turning Nigeria upside down, plunging Nigeria 50 years black, backwards. That's say, okay, fine, they didn't, they didn't say this one, but what of other promises they made? We now know better that it's not I will. Next time you ask, how can you? If you do not do this, what should happen? It should be written and signed. If in this time and this time I do not do this, then this action should be taken against me. Yes, until you put people who really want to work there, we are not going to have we are not going to have um, growth in this country, and nothing will be fine. Now listen to the news in detail. What a party promised was to support the evolution of powers from the center to the state. It is therefore mischievous to place the responsibility for effecting restructuring on the all-progressive Congress or its presidency and not to appreciate and not to appreciate that it will require depth negotiation among such members from different ethnic nationalities and constituencies or zonal and religious background before any political party or any ethnic nationality could successfully issue any fiat on the National Assembly to make laws on power devolution or on restructuring, whatever it might connote, he writes. Akande's book launch in Lagos on Thursday, December 9, 2021, was graced by political bigwigs from across the nation, with President Buhari making an appearance as special guest of honor. Oh, no wonder. It is this book that he came. Oh, oh. Sorry, oh. Millions of people are dying. The recent one happened in Sokoto where people are burned alive. Like people we are roasted like meat. And this man you call your president went for a book launch. In the midst of all the chaos and all the menaces happening in the country, he chose this period. He did not have to. He could easily delegate. He said, no, I want to go. <laughs> well, at the end of the day, Nigerians can now see, most especially those who were gullible then. I hope you can now see that. <laughs> I hope that you can now see what you guys picked for yourself. They gave you people a Jonathan. You said, no, you wanted his father, Saul. Now they have given you Saul. And now you are all weeping. You are crying. Everybody is feeling the heat. In fact, almost everyone is saying, let him resign. Uh, when is it remaining? Just how many years? Okay, let's me keep looking and see how this plays out. Let us keep watching. Even if they are going to start saying now that, oh, this man did not say my ownness, what of other ones he made? If you are going to defend him from this one, will you defend him from others? It shows that our constitution needs to be trashed. I've been saying this thing. There is nothing like amending because amending this constitution will take years. This is a very, very rigid. It's not flexible. 
our type of constitution is not flexible. It is very rigid. And so to amend before they will amend one clause, then come and amend. No, you can't just amend it like that. It is not a word document or a PDF document. That, no. What should be done is this constitution. Everybody will just throw it under water. All six geopolitical zone, they will come as in they'll fix a date. Everybody will start coming one after, as in they'll come today, they'll discuss the issue of a country. Everybody states your grievances. After that, negotiation and the um, dialogue will occur. After that, how can we move this brainstorming will be done? Everybody will now agree on what should be there. And of course, people that are going to be involved are not going to be politicians. Though. Never. The politicians will be involved, but a bigger part of the people at the grassroots will be selected. It is until then that this country can move forward. Yes. Because if at the end of the day, <laughs> they call for the six geopolitical zones to go and appear and make another constitution, what do you think they'll fix in there? They'll fix in what is going to favor them and them alone. Yes. They will fix in what will favor them and them alone. A lot has to be done for this our country to move forward, to come out at least to be revived. Because I tell you, any government that is coming after this one, they have lots of work to do. Those that are running for presidency, uh, you think they are coming, they, are, they want to work. Hey, hey, this country has been plumbed backward. Anybody coming and saying with, in, with, with the intention that, oh, I really want to help. I really want to fix this country. I really want to serve this country. The person should be prepared. He's going to be, you know, that's what they call work, 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 work. You work and work and work. And you will work that even the people will not even see it. Because a lot of things has to be undone. Before you plant on the land, you have to do what? Clear it. Nigeria is have been as in as thick forest has grown on the land that we are supposed to be planted. So we have to uproot all those things, all those weeds, clear it, prepare it, bury some things in it to be make it fatter. Before people will now call I even this administration. They will not even finish the work of clearing, then preparing it and making it fatal. That is it. Nigeria has gone so bad. Are we talking about insecurity? Is it the economy? Is it like so many issues? We need a government that can be held accountable. If you do not do this thing, what should be done to you? It should be in the constitution also. So that when they are misbehaving, they are knowing that no, they are going to, they are going to face the music. That is just it.